The Black Cement 3s are set to drop in three minutes, so let's see if we can try to get a pair. If you guys haven't seen my previous video on how shock drops work and everything explained, please go and check that out as well. I'm gonna try to grab a pair on here and show you guys the process throughout the screen recording when the time comes. And also I'm gonna give you guys some detailed looks at the Black Cement 3 so you guys can see my first impression and hopefully this can help you decide if you actually even want the shoe or not. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. All right, so we're looking at the shock drop. It's open and as you can see right here, $220 coming soon, available at 11.23. Now, a lot of people talked about the shock drop happening yesterday, but it's happening today. So there's a slight information uh, tweak from a lot of people, but you know, that's why I just wait and see what everybody else be talking about and then I go and try to get the shoes. <laughs> uh oh here we go it's available boom face scan i need a 13. we're in the line we're in the queue checking availability okay we'll see what happens let's see if they got the baby pairs that's what i wanted to look at Ooh, let's see what these look like they don't got no extra pictures ah i need that baby pair these are gonna go hard 75 bucks though Sheesh. okay um damn the kids pair honestly looks really good too all right, so I'm gonna be back with the results uh, for you guys in a bit, and I'll let you guys know what I get. So in the meantime, let's look at the shoe. These come with the classic Air Jordan 3 OG style box, and you got your Nike Air branding here on the top of the lid, and then your Jumpman on the actual top of the lid right here. This is more on the side of the lid. And then you got your elephant print all throughout the bottom half of the box. And the size tag reads Air Jordan 3 Black Fire Red Cement Gray. And these also come with an additional card. Now this isn't a retro card, more of like an information card. So it says Jordan, and then you have your Jumpman here on the top. And then you have all the specs, kind of the details of how the shoe was put together and all the information on the side right here which i really love because when it comes to ogs in particular i think they should do this on all the models saying that we don't get retro cards anymore so at least give us kind of more of that history and that tech information about the shoe and how it became what it is and why it is what it is like that's why i love talking about the history on my channel now when it comes to the black cement 3 in particular my opinion honestly i think i might like the white cement 3 a little bit more just how the shoe was put together ah again the black cement 3 as a whole is my favorite between the two because it's just a lot more easy to rock so on that aspect but at the end of the day i think there's some small tweaks on here that i'm not sure i'm too happy about compared to the white cement 3s that's just my opinion but at the same time i think they did a really good job compared to the previous retro in 2018. quick look at the outsole you got your classic air jordan 3 bottom with the nike branding on the back tab is going to be the same thing nike air here your white and black midsole with your white air unit your elephant print on the back and the front end and this is the question i have a lot for i uh, have for a lot of people do you call it elephant print or do you call it cement print i hear the difference between the two cement gray and then they say the cement gray is here, but that's elephant print there. And then I hear other people say it's all just cement throughout the entire thing. I would love to hear what you guys say. Just kind of wanted to open the door for the conversation because we always hear a lot of people talk about that. Another thing we hear a lot of people talk about is what? Is this shoe the reimagined or not? I posted a poll and I put it in the reimagined series and a lot of people just went along with it. So to go alongside the poll on YouTube, I posted an additional poll on Instagram saying, is this a reimagined sneaker? And we got poll results from that as well. So as you can see, a lot of people still consider this as a reimagined because it's similar to the white cements. A lot of people also said, this is not a reimagined sneaker. We'll get into full technical details and reviews all of this later. Trust me, you guys are gonna hate me when you get done with this because I'm gonna be making a ton of videos about the Black Cement 3s. There's so many different comparisons, history videos, and so much to unpack for this model that it's gonna take a couple videos to get out. But right now, we're just talking about the shock drop. So let me check my phone real quick and see if we got any results. Better days auto sales, where our vehicles have seen better days, and we want you to see better days too. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Love, owner here at Better Days Auto Sale, and boy do we have a deal for you. Some cars you might have to push off the lot, some cars you can drive off the lot. And there you have it, got them baby, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> this is so dope. I, you guys know, I this model in particular, I always double up, triple up. So excited to be able to pick this shoe up. 
and uh well yeah another pair of these up and now i gotta still get a pair for my dad i gotta get a pair for my mom i still got some work to do but you know i had to get my double up triple up out the way first because my mom's pair hers is easy to find my dad's somewhat but you know I'll, I'll have to call some plugs if i need to so at this point you guys are watching the video and the shock drop has already happened so let me know what your results were down below in the comment section and again we'll run through a couple quick details on this shoe the tongue you have your gray tongue here with the red jump man and then you have your gray collar here with the red sock liner and a black nike here on the inside and honestly at the end of the day this is still a great shoe it's a classic shoe it's an iconic shoe this is something you can never go wrong with it and again something i'm excited to have in my sneaker collection so uh if you guys want to see some on foots or anything like that i'll throw that at the end of this video as well just so you guys can get a look at it but don't worry i'm gonna have a ton of in-depth review on this shoe so please stay tuned we got cleats we got fusions we got the 01 pair we got 08 we got 012 like we got just all the different retros i'm excited to put them all together and break down this history for the shoe so stay tuned i appreciate you guys as always again if you guys want to learn about shock drops and how it works and how to hit more often and prime example as you see i just hit want to learn all those things make sure you guys watch the video at the end of this video that really breaks down shock drops and how you can increase your odds and have a high percent chance of winning more often throughout the drop so i appreciate you guys as always i'll see you in another one just wanted to get a quick one out here for you guys all right i'm out guys i'm gonna have to rate this shoe a six just because the quality is not as good as the original pair and there's not really anything reimagined about it. Um, all the other reimagined pairs have like a different box, different like colors. Um, they're just the same. The elephant print and the leather is just a little worse. So that's it. <laughs>